saying, hi, Jose. Hi, Rudy. How are you? Good night. Good evening. How hi, are you? Teacher. How are you? <clears throat> hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine. And you? Good. Trying to recover from this. I'm sexy and I know it voice <clears throat> that I have right now <laughs> due to a flu and the fever. So I have the fan on the yes, back. Yes. Look at the fan on the back. Like to try to to recover from the fever okay, you should drink to lemon with honey i will i will uh-huh i will because it it helps me for my i usually when i get sick i lose my voice <clears throat> so yeah so jose good evening alex good evening kenya good evening how are you guys hi teacher Hello. Hello. Well, yesterday we had a very complicated topic and I asked you to send me a couple of sentences to practice. But one of the things that I did is I sent you an image of some adjectives or this, you know, words that actually describe houses and apartments. But I guess you guys um, didn't uh, do the exercise for many various reasons. So today we're going to like rehearse or do a couple of them but i want to start off first with the vocabulary that way you have more vocabulary i have i create a presentation with some images to describe if you live in a house or if you live in an apartment to be able to make the contrast so let's get started just give me a minute that way i i go ahead okay and open up the presentation for you <clears throat> Okay, so get. I'm gonna get started. Okay, with a, some a couple of words. Maybe you know them. Maybe you don't. The idea is to make exercises with the words. Okay, based on what we saw yesterday. So, for example, for the first one, it's bright. For example, if you look at behind, the reason why I did the video today here was because I wanted for you to look at the different. I usually am like in the pink behind the pink wall. I usually have a pink wall behind. But the, that's just for my room. But the rest of my house is white, as you see behind me. So my house, if you see, and even my image changes, my house is very bright. Or if you live in an apartment, you would say my, my apartment is very bright. But if you live in a dark place, you would say uh, my house is very dark. Not because the house is dark itself, but because the colors on your walls are dark. Like some people, paint their houses a gray or blue or green. Like if it's a dark color, then the house will start looking dark. But if all your walls are white, that's the way it's gonna look like, like on the picture. Now, using the example that we had yesterday, can you come up with an example? For example, um, apartments aren't bright enough, for example, or houses are bright enough. Can you come up with an example with bright based on or using yesterday's examples? <clears throat> mm -hmm. In my case, my house is medium bright because we don't uh, we don't have we have words with color mm, dark one 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 word and the another wall are bright. The other walls are bright, okay. So you could say, my house, for example, my house isn't, or is, isn't bright is. enough, is. or is, okay, is bright enough. So see, my house is bright enough, it's bright enough, okay. So you could use this example, my house is bright enough, for example, huh, okay. Okay, so, and then we have bright. That's one of the examples I wanted to show you. And then we have, cramped. What is cramped? Based on the picture, what do you understand cramped is? It's not, it's not big enough. Exactly, or cramped is 
when you know, for example, we know we have a small house or a small space and we keep up adding and adding and adding more elements to that place, right? You keep on adding organizers, you keep on adding furniture, you keep on adding many elements to it, right? That's, that's what it means, cramped. And even in big spaces, people say, I have a big house, but the, the bigger the house, the more elements. So you start accumulating things and then that's why it makes it cramped. So the, the house, instead of looking big, it tends to look small because you have so many things that it's, it's very cramped. Give me an example here that I can use with what we were doing yesterday. Mm -hmm. Give me an example. I, I think, I think um, all houses in the city Dale. are cramped because the neighborhoods are too, too big, but the house are very small. But the in the, for example, how do you say in the campo? The countryside. In the countryside, the big are are big because they have a lot of um, space mm -hmm. and and they will like like big like big. Okay, so I'm gonna use another example. Houses in the country are cramped, um, are not, are not, aren't, are not as cramped as in the city. Okay, to try to use. Houses in the country, in uh -huh, the country are not, are not aren't as cramped as in the city. As in the city. Yeah, because in the country, since they're big, they're not as crowded as in the it's, city. It, right? It's comparative. Mm -hmm. So we are contrasting. We are contrasting the houses in the city versus the houses in the countryside. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super. Okay. Let's go with another one. Let's go with another word. Expensive. This is expensive. Too expensive. <laughs> Super expensive. You can pay this house. I cannot afford a house like that. I will never have a quantity of money. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to make an example. Um, the houses, the houses of the famous are too expensive. Okay. Let's say rich and famous. Houses. Uh -huh. Famous um, houses are too expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, rich and famous houses are too expensive. Very good. Okay, it's true. Way way across the. Um, I don't know. It's it's super super expensive. Holy. Can you tell me again? Rich and famous houses are too expensive, right? <laughs> Rich and famous houses are too expensive. Okay, very good. Way too expensive, out of reach. That's what it means, mm -hmm. super. Okay, let's go with our next one. Let's go with another one. Costly, not necessarily expensive like the one we saw before, but that has a high price. For example, I'll give you an example. 
in my neighborhood, when my parents bought this house, it cost like it costed like around forty five thousand dollars. Nowadays, houses in my neighborhood are costly. They are one hundred thousand dollars. Cool. Imagine in that time, $45,000, and they're big houses because they're old. But nowadays, they're $100,000, super expensive, way too costly. Imagine in Antiguo Cuscatlán, it's <laughs> too expensive. Yeah, I think that, that we can make a contrast there. Mm -hmm. Can try to make an example? <clears throat> mm -hmm. The house in the city are costly. Give me, let's be specific, for example, where in the city? So we can contrast with neighborhoods, for example. Houses in are costly as, not as costly or costly enough. Uh-huh or less costly than? Where is it more expensive to buy a house nowadays that you know? In La Escalón. Okay, so let's say houses in, in Colonia Escalón are too costly. You could also say houses in Santa Tecla aren't costly enough if you want to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. For example, houses in Santa Tecla aren't costly enough. Okay? Just to give you an example. Let's go with our next word. Modern. My house is not modern, it's super antique, super old. <clears throat> Give me an example. For example, the Houses modern is the strict to La Libertad are a lot of house, modern houses. Very good. Uh -huh. Houses nowadays, Oy, houses, sorry. Nowadays, okay, nowadays are modern enough. If we not like the ones on La Libertad, the ones, sorry, I have dyslexia, on the ones going towards, if you see, it doesn't really change. Like, if it's in Spanish, you don't really change it, the wording. So you, it keeps it the same, the Santa Tecla, La Libertad, so you don't have to make it and translate it to English. It stays the same in Spanish. <clears throat> okay, houses nowadays are modern enough, like the ones going towards La Libertad, mm -hmm. that are very super modern, okay? <clears throat> okay, so now that we practiced a little bit, I just wanna co continue showing you words, okay? I'm not gonna write anymore, but I wanna show you other vocabulary words that we have. For example, we have, <clears throat> we have tidy. Did you know this word? Tidy is when your house is impeccable. So there's nothing, you will not see anything misplaced or incorrectly placed anywhere. It's going to be perfectly 
settled, okay? That's tidy. Super clean, super ordered, okay? That's tidy. Then we have houses and apartment can be quiet. What is quiet? Lejos de la ciudad, very far away from the city, or not really far away from the city, but in a, in a quiet place, okay? For example, people say like, uh, like if you were to live like in a, in a farm or like in a cottage there in Chalatenango. So it's a quiet place, okay? Or in Morazan. So it's a quiet place. So do you have a quiet apartment or a quiet house? I have a quiet house. Well, sometimes. Me too. Oh, I have a quiet house. You don't have a quiet house? No, teacher, no. Why? <laughs> it's too <laughs> noisy. <laughs> when you get to live at the end of the road, that makes it quiet because then you're not very close to that. I'm, I'm very far away from the main street. So that's why my, my house is very quiet at night. Well, during the day too, but it's very quiet. Not a lot of people pass by, so it's good. Okay, our next one. Our next word is relaxing. Oh, I would like to have a hammock inside my house like this. <laughs> <laughs> like that, exactly. Inside. Uh, relaxing, it's a place where you can feel, you can actually relax because your, your couch is comfortable. Not uncomfortable, but comfortable where you can actually sit and relax. Do you have a relaxing house or apartment? It's better if you have a hamaca. What is a hammock? Yeah. You know how to hammock. say hammock. Hammock. I'm going to write it down here so that way you have it. <clears throat> here. It's called hammock. Like this hammock. That's how you write it hammock. Do you have a hammock? I have a hammock like this, but not inside. I have to have it outside. Hammock. A hammock. Mm -hmm. a, maca, a, hammock. Like to, a hammock. Do you have a hammock? I, I have, have two. Hammock, but I don't know. Two. Where it is. <laughs> Shame on you, Jose. You, Salvadorans <laughs> need to have a hammock in their house. It's a rule. I, I, actually, I don't She's like. Salvadoran. She has a hammock in her house. She's Salvadoran, Blondie Salvadoran. <laughs> okay, I prefer next. sleep on floor. <laughs> ah, yeah, like an too. Huge. Is your house huge or is it small? Huge it's is small. spacious. Uh huh. Space with a lot of space. Or not small. too huge and not too small. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what huge, because big is grande, but huge is enorme. So it's like exaggerated, okay? So big is grande, but huge is enormous. Mm -hmm. That's what it means. Huge house or huge apartment. Enormous house, enormous apartment. Now, it's different to say huge than enormous. Enormous is the size of the place. Dimension. Uh -huh, like a mansion is enormous, okay? That's what it, the normal says. Oh, she's gonna fall down from there. Wait, the next one, comfortable. Is your house comfortable? Like you feel home? Like people like to visit you because they say, ah, it's so comfortable. Me siento bien en familia. That is comfortable. Is it comfortable? Yeah, yeah it's comfortable. You always yeah. have cookies on the table or fruit. <laughs> In my <know>. case. <laughs> or coffee. Uh, with coffee coffee with bread yeah so it's comfortable <laughs> yeah Super comfortable. i love coffee with with sugar cake that's mm, super comfortable house <laughs> then we have private private is solo it's your house private or not private not private People not can... private People know what's going right. on. They go to the window and they can actually see inside your house. Mm. It has to do that with privacy, like meaning super private or not that private. Mm. Or so-so. 
Okay, not private. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> not the house, but the design of the house. Okay, I don't think there's horrible houses. This one, because it's very damaged, right? It's super damaged, it's almost falling down. But in Google, that was my first option. It said horrible for horrible houses. <laughs> Okay, next one is large. Large is like long, okay? That's what large is. Another uh, synonym for enormous, another synonym for huge too. You can say large, okay? Our next word is dirty. Your house is not dirty, right? No, no. not dirty. No. Tidy. Tidy or dirty? Tidy or dirty? Tidy. Yeah, tidy. tidy. Super. Okay, perfect. Super. I'm obsessive with the cleaning. <laughs> okay, great. And then we have beautiful. Is your house beautiful? Yeah, it's for beautiful. me, yes. Okay, super. <laughs> this is just an example for reference. The picture is just for reference, okay? But your house has to be beautiful all the time with your touch. And this is awful. You know how when you go sometimes to visit friends and they have the, the walls with no paint and everything's coming down. Sorry. Okay, so that's an awful house with no paint. Or when the house is coming down soon. No maintenance. I don't like to live in their house. Con sin mantenimiento, that's what it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then we have convenient. Do you live in a convenient house near near schools or near um, near places to go around, like in your, mm -hmm. or do you live far away from places? No, it's convenient. I can it's a convenient walk house. Mm -hmm. in case, near for, it's convenient for to park. To the park, to the, the church. Park, the hospital, the, the hospital, market. The supermarket, the market. Okay, very good. That's convenient. It's when you live around or in an area that actually gives you access to many places that you need. Okay, very good, very good. And then we have secure or safe. It's your house safe? Yeah, it's safe. Yeah, yeah. It's so safe. Okay, very good. And I think this is the last one. Yeah, shabby. That's shabby. The houses was building in Adobe. Yes, like Adobe houses, but Adobe houses with no maintenance that are almost falling too. That they look very, very old and they have not painted or given maintenance to them. That's a shabby house. Uh huh. No, That's a shabby not house. Shabby. Not a shabby. Uh, house. Okay, like, so it it's. It's painted and it looks nice. Okay, it's not like tear coming down. Okay, that's shabby too. Okay, so those were my, now we already practiced, so we don't need to practice. This was our little practice. Now I wanna jump into, now that I'm gonna send you this presentation at the end of the class, that way you have this vocabulary too, okay? So before we move into something else, I want you to uh, open up your platform because today we're gonna take a look at I wish. So all the things that you're gonna tell me are gonna be, I wish. We're gonna use a bucket list for men, but we're gonna adapt it for men and women. This is a bucket list created only for men, but we're gonna go into it and you're gonna tell me whether you wish to do it or you do not wish to do it. Let's go ahead and just give me, um, I'm gonna give you a little interview on the topic by watching the following video. Just give me a minute. I bet this one's like 10 minutes. Okay, so I'll just, I think it's like eight minutes. Okay, so we're just, I'm just gonna show you part of the video, okay, because it's a very long video because I wanna jump into the activity, that way you can practice. Just remember that we're gonna be using I wish for this activity. In where you desire, I wish to go to Bora Bora, I wish to try Tiramisu, I wish to parachute someday. So things that you would like to do towards the 
future. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Now, the wish eh, phrases that you're going to come up with are going to be positive, okay? Try not to be, try not to kill your wish list, okay? Like, I, not like I, you don't want to live with your parents anymore, but perhaps things that you would like to do to the future. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. But my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could. But where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting this structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. And in order for me to express that idea, I will say I wish I didn't live with my parents or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on the... I'm going to pause it there. Okay, because then again, what I want is for you to practice. So I just want you to take note on the structure so you can use it with the examples on the bucket list that I have prepared. Okay, so I wish, what would be the structure to use I wish for present situations again? I wish the subject I, I wish I had, I wish, and the verb in the past tense. I wish I were, I wish I had, I wish I could. Usually we're gonna be using I wish I could, I wish I could travel to, I wish I could try. So we're gonna be using a verb in the past tense with wish. And then if we're using an auxiliary for the main verb, then it's going to be in present like this. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I did live with my parents. I wish I could. And then my next verb will go in the present because our auxiliary is already in the past. Reason why we don't need to use the verbs in the, the second verb in the past as well because we're already using it once, right? Okay, yeah, questions? No, no, no. Okay, let's try it out. Let's try it out with our bucket list. Okay, so this bucket list is I'm gonna remove the volume because it's very loud, but this bucket list is about. Things that, 50 things that a man wants to do before they die, but we're going to do it all of us, okay? So you're going to tell me if you wish to do it, you yes, wish to wish. try it, yes or no, okay? Using wish. Design your life exactly the way you want it to be. What would that look like? Fifty-five things every man should do. The ultimate Alux bucket list. 
Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers, and welcome back. Every man has his own bucket list, at least in some shape or form. If you're a man, this is the only video you need to see on the topic. It's an original video with a list compiled by us, where we distilled the essence of life. A true gentleman will always look to outgrow his comfort zone and live as much of a significant life as possible. Always challenge your surroundings, your current state, and aim as high as your mind allows. Then get to work towards making those dreams a reality. Before we jump right into the 55 things every man should do, the ultimate bucket list, we'd like to start with a quote that is perfect to get your mind racing towards all the amazing things you'll do in your life. A man who dares to waste one hour of time has not discovered the value of life. Charles Darwin. If these are not on your bucket list, make sure you consider adding at least some of them, if not all. Maybe you've even achieved some of them. Try to keep up. Let's go. Number one, buy your dream car in cash. Okay, so that's the first one. Buy your dream car or your dream ca house in cash. Do you wish you could or not really? For example, I wish I could buy myself uh, my dream car in cash. Just money. I wish. Hmm. What about you I guys? I the free is a, I wish I, no. I wish I had a lot of money. Uh, I wish I had a lot of money to do what? For buy, a, for both or buy? To buy? To buy. Well, to buy a, a car. Mm -hmm. in, okay. A house. In, in cash. In cash. With no... Contanti Aha, contanti Aha, in cash. Very good. When, when we do a direct action, siempre usamos to, we use to. When we, it's indirect, it's for. Like you're doing it for someone or for something. But if it's you directly, you say two. I wish I could buy a car cash, okay, for example. But when you use the word two, to buy a car, okay, not for buy a car. It's two because you are doing the action directly, okay? Okay, thanks. Okay, super. Let's go with number two. Imagine yourself walking into a dealership, seeing the car you've always wanted and paying cash for it. No debt. Drive away in it. Number two. Become healthy and have a fit body. Your body is your temple. Finally get the six pack you've always wanted. This person is almost 90 years old. Can you believe that? 90 years. He's like mm -hmm. 80 something. He's the uh, healthiest elder person uh, right now, according to a magazine I read, I looked for him. I was like, how old is he? He's, that's why they use him as an example. So would you like to get to that age when you're elder and be healthy and be fit? Me healthy, fit, no, fit, no. But healthy, yes. I wish I could, <laughs> you know, wish get to that healthier. age. I could be healthier. Yes, of course. Me too. I wish I could be healthier. Let's go with number three. Number three, live in your favorite city. At least for a Would you like to live in your favorite city? Would you oh, wish close. to live in <laughs> What's your favorite city? We spoke about places. What's your favorite city? Liverpool. Liverpool. Okay, so I wish I could live in Liverpool for the rest of my life, for example. Mm -hmm. Quebec. Or, I wish I could live in Quebec for a couple of years, very good. Mm -hmm. Another one? <clears throat> I wish to live at Mexico, for example, Puebla. Aha, I wish to live in Puebla. I wish for, to live in Puebla, Mexico. Okay, for a couple of years, a couple of months, for all my life? Mm, for a couple of months. Okay, a couple of months, okay, super. Let's go with our next example. For a while, and make sure it's as amazing as you thought it would be. If everything is great, buy a place there. Number four, 
mentor someone and help them achieve greatness. Would you like to mentor someone or have you mentored before someone? I would like to be somebody's mentor. That somebody comes to me and says, hey, I want to be like you when I grow up. To be inspiring to people. I would, that would be awesome. What do you guys think? Yeah. I, I wish really I could. Like it. <laughs> no. Imagine somebody wants to learn, for example, electricity and they don't know how to, for example, like I, I don't know anything about electricity. And I say, hey, I want you to mentor me. So you are being, and you say, no, a girl learning how to make electrical connect. You wouldn't say that. You say, sure, I can help you. And then I would feel proud of myself because you mentor me to achieve something in life. But the problem That's with me is uh, I don't have patience. That's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> to mentor someone, you have to be very patient, resourceful to give them, you know, feedback and, and to help them. Right. So that's the idea to be somebody's mentor. Okay. Let's find out right. the next one. <laughs> Helping others achieve their full potential is one of the biggest rewards one can achieve in his lifetime. Number five, go skydiving. What do you think about skydiving? Is it part of your wish list? No, too dangerous. Uh -huh. For me, yes. <gasps> of course, I, I thought do. of you. <laughs> of course. For me, it's too dangerous. I, I thought of you. I said, yeah, she's going to like to do that. Like the paraplente, right? Yes, sir. Uh -huh. I don't care if I die. <laughs> okay, so I wish I could do it. I wish I could try skydiving mm -hmm. very good for the rest of you i wish i couldn't i wish i didn't yeah i wish i, I wish couldn't, i didn't no. uh -huh. okay jump out of a plane dangerous for me. somewhere with a gorgeous view number six go skinny dipping yeah. preferably surrounded by gorgeous women doing the same now this tradition and i want to share with you this imagine the united states is a very cold country Water is usually very cold. So teenagers, not really teenagers, when they graduate from college, school, or the university, this is a tradition. They, they take out their clothes and they just dive into the water, the freezing water. Imagine. Would you do that? Would it be part of your list to dive into cold water, like super cold water? No. No. Super cold. You can actually get sick. So, yes, I... I wish I, I didn't do it. I wish I didn't have to do it's it. It's better. I wish to to go to go. It's correct. Mm -hmm. To go. I wish to I wish to go to Choros de la Calera at the <laughs> US City. No, the the water the is same. very cold. Si, it's yeah. the same. Believe me, it's the same. It's the same. That's how cold. Imagine that's how cold water is in the at the beach in the united states it's the same the same you can actually get uh, you can actually get sick from that uh -huh. next one number bungee seven jumping. go bungee jumping bungee. get that blood rushing through your veins what do you think would you do it do you wish to do it you could do it yes or no i could no i have seen a lot of people dying practice it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. On video, on video. Uh huh. Wow. Oh, yeah. Imagine the. How do you say lasso? Rope. The rope. The, imagine the uh -huh. broken rope. I know. Yeah. Or no, I saw a video. I don't know if you guys saw that video in where this person jumped and there was a crocodile or an alligator. Boom! Came. <laughs> yeah, it was like I was like. It was terrible. Yeah, you never I know. Will do this. Yeah, okay. <laughs> of course, extreme sport lover. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's really dangerous. Uh, because eight, or, build or the blow goes to the head. Exactly. Yeah, it's dangerous too. Because not everybody reacts the same way too. Mm -hmm. All the bodies react differently. So they don't react the same way, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, what about this one? Build a school. What, did I do? what do you think about building a school? I wish I could build a school, help out build a school in my community. Mm -hmm. That would be awesome. Would be great. 
it's so sad to see the ch children. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, I was I was watching my son, my my oldest son. He is thirteen years old, and he likes to watch programs from National Geographic and history and you know those type of programs and we were watching the other day he was watching something about this that even if kids have in some places like in el congo i think it wasn't in i don't know if it was ghana or nigeria that even if if people go and build nice schools they are so used to poverty that they don't want to get the desks dirty so they rather have their classes on the floor that's how, how humble they are. Like they can have a very nice school, very modern and very cool school, but they feel like, ah, oh, you know, no, no, because we're gonna get it dirty or, you know, they feel like super sad about it that, that they still decide to take the class in the same conditions they, they would when they, before the school was. So it's very interesting because even if they have a nice school, they rather keep continue in the same conditions, taking the class on the floor or using, instead of using the notebooks, they keep the notebooks. They don't use the notebooks. They write on the floor, on the, on the soil with, you know, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's just cultural, I guess. But it's, it was really interesting to see that. Cool. So have, have that careful. kind of impact on a community that will benefit in the long run of your kind gesture. Number nine, learn to fly an airplane. I would like to learn to fly an airplane. I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could too. <laughs> I I wish could. <laughs> it would be super. It's very expensive in the country to learn how to, how to fly an airplane. Classes are very expensive, right? So I think it would be a very good and awesome experience. Enjoy the freedom the sky has to offer. This is a life book. To many people, it's the most important book on their shelf. Sorry. But you can okay, Number 10. Ahead. Buy a Rolex watch and pass it on to your son. Now, I would change this one for would you like, have you received something from your past generation? Like, you know how grandmothers, they give their daughters like, pearls or like a chain they you they always give you something that was you know that goes in the family for gener from generation to generation to generation not necessarily a rolex it could be a pair of earrings a necklace a watch a bracelet a ring something that was in your family for generations would you like and hail room is that it's hail room is something very special that goes from one generation to another. Do you have something as special as a hail room that you would like to pass from your generation to another generation? No, really, not really. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No? So your mother or your father has not given you anything that it's that was theirs, that was very special to them? Yeah, that my family given? doesn't give anything. <gasps> no. Um, only the right behavior. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's hail room. It's when you have something that goes from generation to generation to generation. For example, I have, I have a high ace, a microbus, mm -hmm. 1986. Super old, super old very old microbus and I that microbus was my father's and now it's mine and it's going to be my hail room for my kids because the microbus is in perfect conditions so that's what's going to happen that's going to be my my hail room so I'm going to give them my microbus and I hope that they can keep it alive and <laughs> like a herbie right and keep it alive to give it to their to their kids when they when they have their kids so the idea is to have something special that can go from generation to generation. Like usually it's a ring, um, I don't know, uh, earrings, uh, necklace, 
I don't know. That's a hail room. Buying a Rolex watch is a symbol of success, and it can be the great starting point for an ongoing tradition. Number 11. Buy a ticket on a plane that leaves the same day. Be spontaneous. I'm going to skip that Check one. flights for today. Pick a place and go. You'll figure it out on the way. Be spontaneous. I'm going to skip it. Next one. Number 12. Visit every continent. Travel as much as Visit any, every yeah. continent. What do you guys think? I wish I could visit every continent. I wish I could too. Mm -hmm. I Which wish one? I could too. Uh -huh. Will be a great adventure. Except China right yeah. now, except Asia in this moment. <laughs> in this moment, <laughs> no, but maybe. Why not? not? <laughs> well, it's maybe fun. next year, maybe next year. Maybe next year. What happens is that I am, I feel that I am very weak, very weak <clears throat> with my health. So I can, I easily get sick, I think. Yeah. Um, it's very, I need, oh, we need take uh, vitamins. And I need to. My, yeah. If I was super healthy, then I would go anywhere. But I don't have, I feel I don't have good defenses. And that's why I, I, nowadays I protect myself a little bit more. So, but I would love to go to Asia. I would love to go to all the different continents. And just possible, create okay. memories and stories to tell others. Next one. Number 13, learn to play an instrument really well. What about this one? Would you like to learn to play an instrument very well? Yeah. I wish I could play the guitar. I wish Actually, I, could play I play guitar. I don't know how to play the guitar. But very well. I wish I could play uh, piano. The piano? Super. Me too. I wish to could play a piano. Mm -hmm. Nice. Super. That's, that's great. Or the violin. I wish I could play the violin too. Violin, violin. is harder. Me too. It's really harder. <laughs> and expensive too because ex uh, violins are like sixty dollars. The little vi the most affordable violin costs you like sixty dollars, and then it can go up to a hundred or two hundred dollars. The most expensive ones. Super. Expensive. And it's it's a it's a dangerous instrument because may cause uh, a sick in your ear. Mm, yeah, you if, can. If, if you don't use the something in your ear like an accessory to, co to yeah. protect your ear uh -huh. you i didn't know that. your ear <laughs> oh yeah impress everyone with your skills and be that proud one. you've done it since you've always wanted to number 14 build a treehouse for your one. kids building it with your own hands and having them help will be a lifelong memory number 15 <laughs> buy a motor <laughs> Would you like to buy a motorcycle? No, I wish I, I didn't. No. Super dangerous. Here, nobody respects motorcycles. Mm. Unfortunately, that's, yeah. Recycle and Maybe enjoy in another it. country, right? Hop Maybe on and enjoy else. the empty road. Number 16. What about this one? Throw a great Gatsby party with a few hundred people showing up. Try to get as many. Would you like to throw a big Gatsby party? A Gatsby party means like a theme party. It could be a costume party, maybe a Hawaiian party, maybe a black and white party, something like that. Would you like to throw a big party someday? No, not really, not really. I don't We're like parties. Not really. <laughs> okay, you would like not to? Okay. Any quality people as possible. There is most of the Project X. Okay. Number seventeen. Leave a five hundred dollar <laughs> tip at your favorite restaurant, or even more if you're feeling generous. That tip will have a big impact on someone who's just starting out in life. Number eighteen. Run a full marathon. What about running a full marathon? Wish I could do it. <laughs> Would you do it? Yeah, of course. 
I love running. Me too. When I was a younger, at bachillerato. Uh-huh. What about the rest? I wish I could. Okay. You wish you could run? Have you ever participated in a marathon? Like here in the country. Mm -hmm. Have you ever participated in one? <laughs> no? Yes? No. No. Okay, but, let, let me ask. The, um, torture? Uh, I don't know. The, the flare? Flare. 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 Yeah. flare. Oh, flare. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I uh, participate. Carry, lle, lle, llevando la, la antorcha. Carrying the flare. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super. Masi, yeah. how old are you? I'm going to ask you guys. How old are you, Masi? 21 years. 20, 20 or 31? 21. 21, okay. Hugo, how old are you? Yeah. 28. Okay, Jose? 28, of course. Okay, 28. Rudy, how old are you? 38. 38, okay. Jose, how old are you? 39. 39? Yeah. Okay, Kenya, how old are you? 22. 22, okay, it's just like the same age as, okay. Masi, Alex, how old are you? And Eduardo? 20. 24. 24, okay. And Eduardo, how old are you? 26. 26. 26. 26. 26. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, super. Why am I asking you this? Because you know what? I was reading an article that by the age of 40, at least you had to run in your life two or three marathons to protect your heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But imagine marathons are very, so if you have never done one, you have to, I, I worry because I have never been in a marathon, but I have played soccer and I have played the uh, basketball before, but never, and dance, that's it. But if you have never done sports, you have to do a marathon to protect your heart before you reach 40, three marathons, a fun fact to protect your heart. Could be true, Russia. could not be true, maybe. You're still on time, Jose, <laughs> almost 40. You have to. Those Actually, I run a lot. Ah, okay, so that's good. If you play <laughs> soccer, if you run, that's fantastic. Since seven years. Uh -huh. I'm so good. used to, to run. To running, okay, that's great. I think that's great. That's good, that's good. I need to start doing it too. I'm in my 40s now. Marathon. Someone <laughs> who finishes a marathon in his lifetime will not die of a heart attack. Uh -huh. See? they will not die of a heart attack. So it, what, that's what I was telling you. So see, if you run, that um, protects your heart from a heart attack. So we have to do it, guys. Number 19, become <laughs> really good at chess. Can you guys play chess? I can and play chess, but I'm not really good. No, I bet. I am bad like at playing chess. I don't like it. It's, it's, yeah. it's great. Mm -hmm. I need great. to learn to play chess. That's good. Okay. Yeah, me too. I'm not good at playing chess. Chess is the sport of the mind. Teach your kids to think a few steps ahead. Number 20. Drink beer at Oktoberfest in Germany. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> great. <laughs> I wish I could do it. I wish I could do it. <laughs> me too. I wish to live at or i wish to drink the after effects and you know what that's a curious fun fact let me share a october fest the first the first october fest was a celebration in 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 germany to commemorate the wedding of the prince and the princess and it was like a three-day celebration and this celebration happened uh the last days of september the last days of september and no beer was involved it was just a oh, celebration yeah. for for this couple that was getting that's why they called it oktoberfest it was a celebration 
to say, hey, the prince and the princess are getting married. Come and join. It's a fest. It's a, like a festivity. But then as years went on, people started adding beer and German food. And so they took away the real meaning of Oktoberfest. So Oktoberfest started in September, not in October, and there was no beer. That's that curious. So <laughs> fun, yeah, fun fact. If there's one place and time to drink beer, it's Oktoberfest. <clears throat> Number 21, quit the job you hate. Do it in style, you're never going back there anyway. Would you ever quit your job if you don't like it? Like, I don't like this job, I'm gonna quit. Or would you wait I, for them to I fire did it. you? I did it last year. Tell me, tell us about it, huh? It was a boring job, uh, ugly boss, and, and the schedule is too, schedule? too much work. And I quit. I say to my boss, I don't go anyway. Yeah. I, I go to my house. <laughs> so exciting. Oh, hold on. Give me a minute. The word is schedule. Like this. Even though you write it like this, you say, read it from the chat. <clears throat> schedule. 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 Okay. It's, it's a very schedule. different. It's schedule. Schedule. Like in Spanish. Read it in Spanish. Schedule. I wrote it on the chat. No ch in between. No hay un ch in between. There's ske jol. Jo. Jo. Skechol. Skechol. No hay un ch. Es un jo. Skechol. En español. Read it in Spanish. You have to read it in Spanish. Ske. Skechol. Skechol. Tal cual. Skechol. Seré yo, señor. Vamos a decir. Es perdón. Seré yo. So there is no, no hay un sonido in, in between. No hay un, no lo lean como like this. Don't read like this. Don't read it. This one. Don't read it like this. No, read it like this. Schedule. The schedule. 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 There you go. Schedule. Yo. Yo. Schedule. Schedule. Very good. Schedule. Well, schedule. guys. It was an amazing week again. This is our second week, um, our last day for this week. I will see you guys next week, same time, same place, with more to go over, okay? Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for being so responsible and always joining to the classes and participating. You are okay. an awesome class, see okay? You. Okay, see you next Monday. Hi, <laughs> guys. See you next Monday. Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend, Bye. everyone. You too. Thanks. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. Have pupusas on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs>